Passover. End of winter bugs are drawn to our front door's extreme white. You would never kill them. I'm not so careful with my karma. Come, I want to show you the blood smeared on the wood in the hope that any passing god, bearing curse or bearing good, will pass us by. Christ. His not being real does not interfere with my loving him. I will dismember him as I must, but not like a wild beast driven by hunger and bloodlust. I will imitate as best I can a watchmaker dividing the charming, tiny, intricate works of an exquisite pocket watch, taking care that nothing should get lost or bent, that the thing might be put together again, passed down to my son with a manual that instructs. This is a timepiece. This is how it is made, unmade, remade. Mercy. I want you to be as merciful as you claim to be, whether you exist or not, whether or not you're coming back. I want you to be so merciful you ache, for I am the legion, and the pigs and the cliff over which they hurl themselves, and the farmer who loses his stock, and the farmer's wife calling him a clumsy son of a bitch, and their children going without supper, and his creditors who don't get paid, and all the goods in his house that are repossessed. I am everyone in this story except you and the man who was depossessed. I want you to be merciful even though mercy is foolish and contrary to natural law, even if seven times seventy was boastful hyperbole. For I am the son who loves his mother and father but dishonors them behind their backs. I am the parent who gags his noisy child when I am trying to read. I am the one who does the least and worries he hasn't done enough the one who seeks pleasure without consequence, the poet who spends hours adjusting texts few will read, the tree that bears poison figs and the tree that happens to be figless when you happen along on your donkey, feeling peckish and omnipotent. She went upstairs to make her bed And not one word to her mother said Her mother she Went upstairs to Saying daughter, oh daughter What's troubling you? Oh mother, oh mother I cannot tell It's that railroad boy That I love so well He's courted me My life away now at home, he will not stay. There is a place in yonder town where my love goes, and he sits down. And he takes a strange girl on his knee, and he tells to her what he won't tell me. Her father, he came home from work, saying, where's my daughter, she seems so hurt. He went upstairs to give her hope, and he found her hanging by a rope. He took his knife, and he cut her down, and on her bosom these words he found. Go dig my grave, both wide and deep, put a marble stone at my head and feet, and on my breast put a snow-white dove to warn the world that I died for love. Time, my true love I've seen 
Many an hour I watched him all alone. He's young, but he's daily growing. Father, dear father, you've done me great wrong. You have married me to a boy who is too young. I'm twice twelve and he is but fourteen. He's young. But he's daily growing. Daughter, dear daughter, I've done you no wrong. I've married you to a great lord's son. He'll be a man for you to wait upon. He's young, but he's daily growing. Sent him to college for one year yet. I'll tie blue ribbons all around his head to let the maidens know that he's mine. One day I was looking on my father's castle wall. I spied the boys are playing with a ball. My own true. The flower of them all. He's young, but he's daily growing. At the age of fourteen, he was a married man. At the age of fifteen, the father of a son. At the age of sixteen, his grave it was green, and death had put an end to his growth. He came back, but there was no one to meet him. In cafes, nobody would seat him. He went looking for beggars, but no one would entreat him. He came back like a fire we thought had been put out. A dream that returns when you rise and walk about. Like trust you thought had been destroyed by doubt No one ran ahead of him crying he's returned from afar No one waited for him in locked rooms beneath the stars No one tried to put their fingers in his scars There was no death for him it seemed that death had fled the only one he could talk to who was not in his head Was a friend he once raised from the dead 